What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video of just things that I'm currently using that I'm loving. So I do want to mention that my son, who's three months old, is laying right beside me. <laughs> so you probably will hear him like making little squirms um, because when I talk and move my hands, he thinks it's hilarious and he tends to laugh a lot. So... <laughs> Uh, so he's joining me today. I thought he was going to be taking a nap, but he did wake up. He took like a two minute nap and woke up. So anyway, moving on and getting right into the video. I did record a video yesterday and I did upload it. It was just a brief intro to my channel. And when I rewatched the video, I felt like it really wasn't an intro, more like a rant. <laughs> and um, it was really long and... Um, the biggest thing that I saw that I wasn't really happy with was the quality of the video. I felt like if I want to be taken seriously and if this is something I really want to put uh, like my time into and effort into, then I really need to put time and effort into it and the quality needs to be a lot better. So I wasn't happy with that, so I did remove that video, but you weren't really missing anything because to be honest with you, when I go on YouTube, I want to see videos that I like. You know, beauty reviews or music or um, hauls. You know, like I know what I like to see and I don't think I can sit through a video of someone ranting. So I was just like, would I really want to watch that? No. So that's that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to jump right into this video because I have a quite a couple things to share with you. Quite a few things to share with you guys. And these are things that I've been using the last three months. So ever since my son was born, I jumped right on the train, I guess you can call it, to repairing my skin. Because three of my greatest issues in my pregnancy was my skin changing as far as acne is concerned, pigmentation changes, I'm like two-toned everywhere on my body, and weight gain. In the spirit of transparency, I did gain 86 pounds in my pregnancy. But um, in all fairness, I did spend a good seven out of the nine months that I was pregnant on bed rest. I do have kidney disease and it causes some severe issues in my pregnancies. So yeah, I spent most of it on bed rest and it was pretty, it was a pretty trying time. But it's all good. I'm sorry, I thought I heard my door. I was like, who's here? But <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. So I'm going to jump into these products that I've been using and that I've been loving. So I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube because I first found out about it on YouTube. When I first started having trouble with my skin, the first thing I did was Google and YouTube different products that have helped other women and men in the past that were struggling with the problems that I was struggling with. And everywhere I saw this wash, the Purity from Philosophy wash. And I saw mixed reviews as far as um, it causing a severe purge when you first use it. Some people said it didn't do that to them and some people said that it did. It did for me. When I first started using this, um, my skin was already bad, but when I first started using this, I broke out really, really bad. I'm talking about... It was such a purge on my skin, uh, That's I think that's what they call it, like a purge, where you have like all this acne that's coming out, but mine was like the kind where it kind of had like a little white bubble, like it was so, so bad when I started using this, so I really contemplated whether or not I wanted to continue using it, but I stuck with it, and sure enough, my skin um, got used to using this product. But I only use this one at night. I use this with my Clarisonic, after I remove my makeup, I use this wash, and in the morning, I use this one. So this is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. This is from Philosophy as well. But this wash is a, it's a lot different than this one. So I'm gonna go in order because of how I use it. Okay, so in the morning when I wake up, this is the first thing that I apply on my face after I rinse it with water to like wake myself up. I put this one on and this one has like really, really, really fine beads in it. So when you wash it, it really does exfoliate your skin. Um, but this is a gentle exfoliating wash. So to give you an example, St. Ives, ha Ives has an apricot wash. Um, it's like an exfoliating wash and it has like a lot of beads in it. So when you put it on your face, it kind of feels like you're washing your face with a watered down sandpaper. And when I used to use that wash, 
it just you it just used to irritate my skin my skin would be real 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 red and just irritated and I hated that so I stopped using that wash so when I saw this one I was just like do I really want that because I didn't like the other one but I saw reviews on it and I purchased this from QVC so they had like a video on it and they were saying that it was so gentle what 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 see this is real life <laughs> they were saying that this one was really gentle so anyway long story short QVC had these two which is this is the 32 full ounces these two um and then it came with two eight ounces which the eight ounces like i thought they would be like pretty big i don't have it with me but honestly they're like this size because i'm going to talk about this next this is the size of the eight ounce i believe kind of like this size so it's good for like traveling and you know taking it on the go but anyway qvc had a deal and i like to buy everything from qvc because qvc has easy pay so if they're um like featuring a product they will do easy pay where they break up the payments for you and if you're on a budget like i am then you know uh having a buying a product where you don't have to literally put down oh <laughs> i can't even get like my son i'm trying to like keep him quiet so my foot is like rocking him and i'm sorry you guys anyway um i lost my chain of thought um mm. anyway I'm like anyway anyway this is this is hilarious but when you're recording and you're looking into a camera it's just funny because you're trying to talk regular but you just want to make sure that your grammar is good and it's really hard to do that when you have a three-month-old staring at you i feel like he's my audience so it's just kind of helping me i feel like i'm just talking to him anyway <laughs> <clears throat> So I've been loving these two together and I love the fact that QVC does have easy pay where I can break up the payments. And when you're on a budget like me, that just works where you don't have to put the full price of the item. You can get what you need and just break it up into payments. So my payments are like 20 bucks and I think I have like three, no, I have like six payments. Six payments of 20 bucks, which for me, that's not bad. I'll talk to you guys about is something that I know you guys have seen on YouTube and it's something I've been loving and it is the Bioderma, um... It's like a cleanser but it's a makeup remover and I love it this one is for sensitive skin and I got the sensitive skin one just because of my issues with the acne and stuff I was just like do I really want to get anything harsh so everything I get is like sensitive skin just because I'm afraid of like breaking out but this is a non rinse cleanser it is paraben free it's hyperallergenic and I love it. I soak this guy on um, like a cotton ball and I remove my mascara like it's nobody's business. And my friend, although I know it's on YouTube and people have talked about this, a lot of people don't know about it because a friend of mine just asked me like yesterday, how do I take, like what can I use to take off mascara? And I told her about Bioderma. So I wanted to mention it in today's favorites because if you don't know about this guy, you might want to look him up and do some research because... It is definitely, definitely a game changer. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this Power Peel by Ula Henriksen. I first saw a review on someone else's page and I was just like, all right, because I wanted something that was going to really um, help. I wanted something that was really going to show me a difference in my skin. I used to work at a dermatologist's office and I was um, used to getting peels. I used to get peels like every two weeks. Um, what would happen is at the dermatologist's office, if one of the nurses was training, then she was able to train on one of us and so she would give us a peel. So those peels were like medicated grade peels. They were very strong. So my skin was used to those type of acids, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, uh, acid, acid, lactic acid. My skin was already used to that, um, so I was just like, all right, you know, like, I'm going to see what this one's all about. So this one is one that you can get on the website, um, and I'm actually going to tell you of different places to get it where you can actually try to get a discount for it. But um, it says that it's the number one facial service at Ula Henderson Face and Body Spa, and I understand why. So I'm going to show you guys how it comes. I'm not a huge fan of someone of packets. Um, like when I get samples of things, when they come in little packets, I'm very turned off by it. Like I don't want to use it. But I will say that I'm glad that these come in a packet because I feel like if it came in a jar, I would use 
way more than I needed to use. And I feel like in these packets, just the right amount comes. So it's a three step process. It comes with like a little sponge and some directions. But basically for the first step, this is the almond polish. This is like a micro, uh, like a mini peel. Um, and so what are, like this is like a mini microderm abrasion. So it is um, a white kind of consistency and it has kind of consistency. It's a white color and it's a thick consistency with little beads in it. Um, but they're really, really tiny and you just kind of exfoliate your skin. So you're going to work this, like massage it into your skin for one to two minutes. After you massage this one into your skin, you're going to go to the number two and that's the lemon strip peel. You're going to take, after you wash this off with warm water, you dry your face. And then when your face is dry, you're going to take this and you're going to generously, generously, um, put it all over your face, on your cheeks, on your neck, um, just everywhere. Um, and you're going to leave this one on for three minutes. Now the back of it says to leave it on for two minutes, but on the QVC website, I actually saw Ola Henriksen talking about this peel and he said to leave it on for three minutes. So if you can tolerate leaving it on for three minutes, I will leave it on for three minutes. That's what I do. I will say that if you're someone who is not used to acid, um, like facial acids, like I, like I said, glycolic, lactic, um, salicylic, if you're not used to those acids, when you first put this on, you're going to feel like your face is on fire, literally. Um, I first put it on and although I was used to those acids, I still felt like, oh, like you could feel it when it goes on your skin. But the good thing about this is that after three minutes, you go right to step number three. You do not rinse off the lemon strip peel, you leave it on. But then step number three is the chamomile comfort and it is a white thick consistency uh, cream. You wipe that cream gener generously all over where you put the lemon strip. So on your neck, if you put the lemon strip, which you should, on your neck, on your cheeks, on your forehead, down your nose, Everywhere that you put the lemon strip, you're going to put the comfort, uh, the cam chamomile comfort right over it. And you're going to leave that one on for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you wash it off. And I saw results. I started using this. I'm, I think I have like four treatments left, but this is my second box. So this is like my second month on it. And I'm obsessed with this. Like, I love it so much. I will never take it out of my skincare routine. I do it every Saturday night. And I love it, love it, love it. So, um, another favorite of mine that I've been loving is um, I'm going to move on to hair. And I only have two hair products. And the first one is this Air Refresher Dry Shampoo. This is from Fakai, Fakai, Fakai Blowout. I don't know. Um, but it's a Hair Refresher Dry Shampoo. I first found out about this. I got a sample in my birch box. And... I was obsessed with it because I am dark haired as you can see <laughs> and when you spray this into your hair it does not leave a white film in your hair like a lot of dry shampoos do this one didn't do that for me and I just love the smell of it I was just, like obsessed so this is my new obsession I love it and um, Publix I live in Florida so we have Publix out here and Publix had a clearance section and they had like these um fakay i don't know if i'm saying it right fakay fakai but they had the a section and the bottle looked exactly like this and it was like 10 of them and i thought it was the dry shampoo so i'm like honey i'm telling my husband go and get it go and get it but when we went to see what it was it was actually a hairspray and i don't wear hairsprays so i was like no but if it was a dry shampoo i would have probably bought them all especially since they were on clearance because this is my new obsession i love it and I feel like if you use it, you love it too. The reason why I use dry shampoo is because my hair is very fine and very thin and very straight. Like, there's no body. To, it's just really super straight. And so I don't wash my hair every day. I don't wash my hair every two days. I probably wash my hair twice a week, maybe. Sometimes once a week. And a lot of people think that's disgusting. But because my hair is so thin and does get oily, if I wash it a lot, I feel like it does more damage than good. So I like for the natural oils to soak up in my hair. Besides, my hair was very, very damaged at one point. And so I feel like just washing it like that just ensures that I'm not like overworking it, I guess. Um, but this stuff works wonders when I haven't washed my hair and three days have gone by. I just spray this in my hair and just kind of like 
perk it up a little bit and it works wonders I love this stuff so that's my first hair care product my second hair care product I'm sorry I'm like disorganized is this guy right here and I have some hair in it because I brush my hair but this this is the Not Genie, and I will never use a brush, like a regular brush, again after using this guy. I love him so much. I mean, I'm going to tell you why. I don't know what it is about these bristles, but when I use a normal brush in my hair, after I've brushed my hair a couple of times, I will have like a whole bulk of hair in here while I have to like pull out. A natural brush actually just pulls my hair and pulls the hair out of my socket. This brush though doesn't do that. So let me just show you when I brush my hair. First of all, it's the knot genie. So it takes out your knots, but it takes out your knots without pulling your hair. So it just kind of glides through, got like little particles everywhere. <laughs> but I don't have a whole lot of hair. I probably have like two or three strands. Where if this was a regular brush, I would have a whole mess of hair that was pulled out because I have knots because my hair gets really tangly but it's just the knot genie because it's supposed to brush your hair and take knots out without pulling your hair um, or like without pulling your hair out so it's best to use in the shower after you have put your conditioner on you want to brush your hair with this in the shower and it's just going to comb right through the knots I swear by this product and this is another holy grail of mine and I promise you that if you use this product, especially in the shower, and you see how well it takes out your knots without pulling your hair, you will love this product too and you will buy it because it is amazing. I love it and it's my favorite. And the last, last thing that I want to talk to you guys about as far as a favorite is actually um, a line from Bath & Body Works. And it this is the Aromatherapy Sleep Line. I think it's a line, I don't know, but it's the Aromatherapy Line. And this is for sleep. And my husband and I are obsessed with this stuff. So we got the cream, uh, not cream, it's a body lotion. We also have the shower gel, but it's in my shower. And then we have this. This is a spray that you spray on. It's a pillow mist. So right before we go to bed, we just spray this on our pillow. And it smells so good. It smells like lavender chamomile. And it just gives you like this beautiful, I don't know it's great and it works so well and it's so funny too because if I don't spray this on the pillow and my husband's going to bed he will ask me like babe did you spray my pillow and I can't lie because you know you will smell it and you don't smell it so I'm just like all right I'll spray it and I spray this pillow but this stuff is awesome I put the cream on after I've taken my shower and I use the shower gel when I come out the shower I just I put the lotion on my arms and on my neck just so I can smell it at night and then I get on my bed and I just spray this on my pillow and I spray this on my husband's pillow and it is bomb uh, I love it he loves it so go out and get it and if you do go out and purchase any of these items that I talked to you guys about today please let me know I would love to see if these items are working as well for you as they're working for me I love them a lot of these items I found because of some of you that I've watched on YouTube and I love watching because you guys give such good advice on what to use to help. So I went out and I bought it and I love it. So if you are seeing this and some of these products are products that you are just finding out about and you go out and buy it, please leave me a comment to let me know, you know, if you like it and what you thought and so on and so forth. This video has been super long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video and you want to see more favorites from me, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, write in the comments below if you have any ideas of any videos that you guys would want to see. I'm going to try to upload videos at least once or twice a week. I'm going to shoot for twice, but... I have a baby and I have other children and I have a husband and my life is pretty full right now but this is something that I really want to take on full time and my husband has been extremely supportive so I know that this is something that I can do if I really just work it out and work out a schedule and just really get my time I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying but I'm rambling so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope that you can appreciate someone who is just trying to keep it real and be transparent and also have fun doing it if you do please subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think about any of the products 
I will see you guys in my next video and thank you guys for watching. Bye.